This is Professor Zeno of Alea, the theoretical mathematician whose paradox I am going to disprove. Zeno's dichotomy paradox goes like this. Suppose a naked, green, crazy Greek, horny hippie satyr wants to walk into a solid stone wall. In order for him to ever reach the wall, he would have to first go halfway to the wall. And then he would have to go halfway again. And then he would still have to go halfway once more again. And no matter how much closer he would get to the wall, he would still have halfway to go. And it is easy to see that half of any distance is still a remaining distance to go, ad infinitum. No matter which way, which direction one tries to go to get to anywhere, one is always half a distance away from getting there, and thus will never ever get there. That is what Zeno thinks he proved. Well, first stump, Zeno. He was absolutely wrong. And here's why Zeno was wrong. In order for his infinite halfway theory to be right, that which is trying to get to the wall would have to begin to become infinitely small. But there is no such thing as a person, animal, or any other entity that begins to become infinitely small. Every person, animal, thing that exists takes up a specific and definite amount of distance in space-time. So eventually the halfway point becomes less than the distance occupied by the person, animal, or thing that was heading towards the wall, and so manages to reach the wall. But what if the wall is not a wall, but an infinitely thin barrier? Even then, since the person animal or thing that was heading towards the barrier has some thickness and is not suddenly becoming infinitely smaller and smaller, the person, animal or thing reaches the barrier. So for Zeno to have been right there would have to exist a moving entity and a stationary entity that both suddenly begin to become infinitely smaller and smaller, occupying less and less space-time. Such crap does not exist. Zeno, get a job, get a life. Next time, I will discuss traveling at the speed of light and why it's not possible. This show was brought to you by the makers of Zorky.